everyone, welcome to the Web3 Education Investment. Today in this video, I'm going to show you the full demo about the AMM in parallel finance. And so now they have their AMM alive. And so I'm going to show you, uh, I, I, I will try to actually show you all the possible functions. And so first of all, uh, if you go to the link of their overview, uh, you can see your dot and you can also see the uh, the C dot and also your para token. So if you participate in the crowd now, you should have some para token. You can claim them here. So for example, uh, I can claim around 40 paras. So I'm going to show you what you need to do. Uh, you just need to claim, uh, claim that. And so this would be similar to uh, the JS wanted. You can also do that in the JS wanted. Uh, and uh, now you can see the balance is changed. So those are all the transferable balance you could you could use. Now they have their um they have their AMM. You can do the swap now. And so you can choose. For example, I have some para token, and I can swap to the dot. So here this dot is different than the the dot in Rene chain. So that means uh, in your JS wallet, you probably cannot see this dot. Um, so, so when you, when you swap that, you are going to get the dot. This dot will be on the parallel, um, parallel chain. And then you can withdraw that. So here you can withdraw and it will take, uh, around one day. It will send it to your, uh, Rene chain. So you can see that in your JS wallet. Um, so, so now I'm going to show you, I'm going to, um, swap. So I'm going to swap maybe, um, let's get 180, let's say. So 180, I'm going to get one dot, right? So this is the dot I'm going to get. And so I will still keep some of the para token for the transaction fees. And so I will swap. And it's going to ask you you will sign. Um, so now it's going to swap and get the dot for you. And so this is a dot under the uh the the parallel parachain. So under their parachain. And so this dot now what you can do with the dot? Um because you because of XCM is not alive yet, so you cannot directly send the dot from Rene chain to the para chain. So that means here this button is uh, is not enabled. So even though I have some dot in my JS wallet, I cannot send it to there. And so so in order to get the dot, you can you you have two ways actually. Uh, if you participate in the crowd now and uh, in the pre previous batch, um, it didn't win. Uh, the project didn't win, and then your dot will be under the parallel um, para chain. So you can you can see them here, or you can swap. So you can swap right now. I just swap. I get the the dot from the para token. Now I'm going to show you some other swap. So for example, from this dot, now I can swap that. Of course, I can do that back. So I can swap that back. Um, but obviously I don't need to do that. I'm just going to pay some more transaction fees. Uh, I'm going to try some other functions to show you how it work. So I'm going to swap this dot with C dot. So if you notice there are two C dot here. So, uh, you can check how many C dot you are going to have. For example, this 0 0.85, um, 0 0.85, you are going to get 1.7 C dot. Uh, this is batch one C dot. Um, and uh, this is batch two C dot. Batch two C dot, you are going to get more. And um, so, so the only difference is, uh, this batch two C dot, um, it will take longer time to, to actually convert it back to the dot. Um, it's actually not that much time, but anyway, like, uh, uh looks like I can get more. I can get more, okay, it's 1.7, another one is 1.8. Okay, so I'm okay to wait for a longer time. So I'm going to swap 
the dot and get some C dot. Actually, the rate is quite good. Um, 0.85. That's uh, that's more than hundred percent, right? So so keep in mind at the end of the two years, you can convert it back to dot. And um, so if I do it now, um, every dot I I have, I'm going to get like two C dot. So that means every dot at the end of two years, I'm going to get like one dot. I will get two dots. Okay, that sounds like a, a good plan, and uh, I'm going to show you how how you can do that. So I'm going to swap, and so this is just a demo to show you how it works. And so now I can I can swap, and uh, it will take a little bit time. You can see you will get some more C dot. So I already have some C dot. Those are the one that I contribute to the crowd now. Um, and the, the liquidity, you can add the liquidity. So for example, you can add the liquidity of a dot and the C dot. And um, so, oh, I actually don't have much. Oh, I should save some, but, um, but I can show you. I'm not going to do that because I don't have much. I don't have many dots now. So, so I can show you, like, you can add a dot and C dot. Um, it's going to, um, yeah, so you are going to add, add this LP and, uh, uh, you will have the liquidity. Um, I, I add some before. So I added the dot and para token. So you can see that I can manage that. I can, I can withdraw. I can add more. And so this is a liquidity. Well, I, I have some para token. And uh, let's see if I can still have some. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't have many, many of that. Okay. So for the pair, uh, of para and C dot, I, I can only do this one. I think it's more stable with dot and C dot because I know at the end of, uh, two years, the uh, one C dot would be the, would be the same as, uh, dot right so it might be more stable anyhow uh this is an equity and this is a swap so i think that's all that's uh, all the function i could explore actually so i do get some more c dot here um and the dot yeah thanks for watching and i hope this tutorial helps uh, and uh, if you if you don't want to miss any future video please subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or any questions, thanks for watching.